Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emmy Curran. I'm a model, actress, influencer, thought, and this is my outfit. <laughs> so yeah, I'm in my house in Miami. It's Music Week, and I just finished a like therapy session with my therapist. And I'm a bad bitch with a therapist. What do I have to say about it? Um, I'll tell you. So I realized a lot through our session today and I'm gonna tell you some bad bitch shit that I was like, damn, I have to tell the audience what she just told me. Mm. So, if you've ever had an ex, which all of us had, that's why I started seeing a therapist. This man drove me fucking crazy. He was so toxic, so abusive, and just like claustrophobic and shit. And I wanted to break up with him all the time and I would break up with him all the time. I finally broke up with him and I was just like, fuck you and fuck everything. I want to fucking leave. And I left and I did a while ago. Like this was way, this was last year. And it was in, it was like six months ago or five months ago. Anyways, I thought I moved on all this stuff. And then I started getting re mad about it because he basically was like, I'm still in love with you. I love you so much. And I can't, it was like pouring his heart out to me. And this happened at Sundream in Tulum. This dude was telling me, like, I thought you were the most perfect girl ever. I never thought about other girls. Like, he said he was in therapy because of it and like, he could not move on and that I broke his heart. And he was like, I wish it was different. Like, I wish we were still together. He kept saying this over and over. And I just listened to him and he kept saying he's gonna cry, like pour his heart out. And I don't know why, I think cause I was drunk. I wasn't a savage. Normally I'd be like, man, that fucking sucks. I bet you miss me, bitch. But I was like, mm, this is so cute. And was like, you know, and then I started going and being like, maybe we should get back together, bitch. I don't know why I did that. And then I took a breather. I was like, no, damn, fuck, fuck no. Like, I remember why I broke up with this man. He's fucking crazy. And like, he's horrible for me. Like he drains me. He's really insecure and abusive. And I'm like, I'm so much better than him. Everyone tells me this, my family tells me this, my friends tell me this, his friends tell me this, bro. His friends all the time were like, you're too good for him. I was like, I know, I just want him to know. And that's what I wanted. I wanted him to be like, I know you're too good for me. I know you're out of my league and like bow. That's what I wanted. Is it narcissistic? Yeah, but it's what I wanted. It was just like the validation and the redemption. I was like, I still feel so fucking good, but when I talked to my therapist, she was like, wait a minute, Emmy, wait, 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 wait. What you are saying is you want another person to be in control of your happiness. Because what I was looking for was coming from him, his behavior, his actions, which we cannot, we can influence. Like I can tell, I can get a guy to act however I fucking want. I talk about this law of attraction. I'm not doing anything to them though. Like I tell you guys, this isn't like voodoo witchcraft shit. You don't have to be like, oh my God, I can put a spell on a guy. No. Okay, I mean, you fucking could, but I don't believe in like dark shit like that. Whenever I want something to go my way or I want someone to act my way, I just change myself, my own perception of myself. And I give myself the validation and the feelings and then boom, guess what happens? They start chasing you and they worship you. All that shit is all from yourself. Anyways. My therapist was like, yeah, so you basically want all of your happiness and your feelings of redemption and, and like feeling like this shit again. I thought that was something. <laughs> to come from him, when it should come from you. You're putting all of your, your control and happiness in his hands. And bitch, you wanna know what makes you like, like magnetic and desirable to every single thing in person is when you are confident by yourself and you give yourself the love and self-love and validation. I know that sounds like a load of horse shit and you're like yeah, yeah yeah whatever i'm telling you if you do this for like i don't know three weeks not even if you do this for like a couple of days if you just start to give yourself all the like feelings and validation that you would get from someone else everyone else gives it to you and then also on top of it you're not relying on them you're only relying on yourself to feel good so it's like a win-win you know um, so anyways, I was like, damn, you're right. Why am I trying to like seek validation through him again? I've already been down this road. I know he's fucking crazy. And also I know I'm too good for him. I know that if I stand next to him in high heels, I'm taller than him. Per, okay. Like psh, sit your ass down. I wear heels bigger than your dick.
I didn't say it. Actually, I did. But like, but yeah, so like if you want to get over a guy and you want to feel like a bad bitch again and you want them to chase you or whatever, I don't even think you should want them to chase you because I just believe that, why is the light weird now? I just believe that exes are exes for a reason and like you lost me. Being my ex is not a flex. You fumbled the bag, bro. That's not something to brag about. Like you had me and you lost me. That fucking hold the cell. Um, <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? So anyways, I learned, learned, why does it sound weird? I learned that um, I cared way too much about the feeling that I wanted him to give me instead of giving it to myself. Once you give it to yourself, he's no longer relevant. He was re never relevant, but now he's really no longer relevant. Okay, like we don't need you here. And that is like queenie head behavior. And I say this to you girls because I know you are trying to get someone's attention or get validation or have revenge or do some shit. I know everyone somewhere has some person, guy, girl, I don't know, that you're trying to have respect you or chase you or, or give you that validation. And what I'm telling you is you don't need to do anything. They don't need to do anything because if you're asking them in your head to be like, oh, I want them to do this, then I'll feel better. You're still putting all of your like hope and your happiness on them versus on yourself versus being like, Mm, I don't really care what they do. I want to make myself better because I want to feel better and because I deserve it because I'm the baddest bitch ever. You know? <laughs> so like, yeah. That's just my lesson for today. And to girl talk, go off, sis. I'm doing my boobs bigger soon. They actually are big. It's just like this top is like making them, making me look flat and I'm not on the D-hub. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna like go like bring them up a little bit. Just stay on topic, I mean. Okay, so so yeah, that's what I talked about with my therapist. And also I sometimes was holding on to that relationship to distract me from new guys. All right, there's new guys, and there's new guys that are so fucking much way hotter than my ex, and not even just hotter, they're calmer. Like, that's what I want. I do not want toxic shit. I do not want hot and cold or gaslighty. Like, at my core, I'm a fucking Libra. Bro, okay, all we do is, like, love. Like, we're just, just, like, I don't know how to, like, not be, like, a big squishy ball of love. Because that's just, like, what I'm like. And I pretend to be, like, savage and mean because I'm not a whore. Like, I don't love every single person that I meet. But if I'm in a relationship with someone, like, duh, like, I'm gonna fucking, like, Nick, you have the best life ever and, like, Every single person that I've dated and have even gone on one date with, and this is a flex, they always are like, and even just people I hang out with, they're like, whenever I'm around you, I feel better. Like, I know, you know, like you could be energy draining or give people energy. Like, I make people, I make people feel good. And, um, yeah, so like I know in relationships, that's why men always come back and men always want me back is because they miss what they have with me. And I'm like, that fucking sucks, my guy. That fucking sucks. <laughs> so, yeah. <sighs> what else was I gonna talk about? Um. <laughs> Wait, so I ordered Pura Vida. I ordered like a salad and it's not here yet. And I'm but yeah, other than that, keep your vibes way the fuck up. I'm just gonna end this video now. Okay, love you.